Hey there, everybody. It's Steve at My Chief Skills. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And today I'm going to go through and show you how to create this balcony room over a porch room. In this case, a screen porch room. Fairly simple, just using Chief's regular railing wall tools and materials out of the Chief Core Library. You can just do create a screen porch, basic screen porch, fairly easily. So let's get started and take a look how to do this. Thanks. Okay, let's start creating this structure. So first thing, I, I've got my template here and I, I have this 30 by 40 box, my standard. So I'm just going to grab this. And the first thing I'm going to do is define this wall type and change the siding. And I'm just going to pick the same thing, but I'll pick this red so it matches their sample. Change that. And then I'm just going to right click and drag and go into continuous mode around my template here, 30 by 40. And I'm just going to delete that. Then I'm going to click on that, use this little tool and select similar. Go control C, go upstairs, control alt V, paste that. And then I'm going to make this a gable and this a gable. And I have auto roofs on. And I'm going to open my build roof dialog and change the pitch to like six and probably make this I'll leave it that's my standard and let's just take a look at our little structure and I'm gonna build the terrain I have a hotkey for that so just throw it in there and uh, I have auto foundations on so I even have a foundation so it's com coming together so there's our basic structure now we want to build a porch on the first floor and a balcony on the second floor so I'm going to start with a porch and my default rail is a post to beam rail style open post to beam. Uh, I'm going to check and see my beam. I'm going to make my beam 12 and newels on uh, eight foot apart. That's good enough for now. OK, so the next thing we want to do is draw this uh, rail and I'm going to change my snap grid to 12. And the grid will come on. I'm going to turn this off so it's not so bad. And we'll just go out here to 8, go across, and then come back. And I'm just going to copy these. Control C, go upstairs, Control Alt V. Now this room, I'm going to make, make a balcony. So I'm going to open that room and make it a balcony. I'm not sure why they're not joining. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, then I'm going to go to downstairs. I'm going to open this. I'm going to make this a porch concrete. I'm going to make this floor minus four. And that should be good. And then on these walls, I'm going to make sure I put a wall a uh, footing below and so I'll just pull this around I'll have to do this so that all the walls are the same and now if you look I'll have a foundation underneath that and we don't want a basement under it but um, we can go down here open this room say no there's not a floor under the room and let's make the stem wall 36 OK, we can turn auto foundations off and I don't want a ceiling here, so I'll just delete these two things and click OK. And that should be good. And I'm going to turn this label off just so it doesn't bother us. And um, let's go up here to this and find out what's going on here. So I'm just going to take this and drag it around. I don't know why they didn't paste properly. It's a chief thing. And here we don't want the same. So we are going to, well, first I'm going to open this room. And I'm going to say, no, it doesn't have a ceiling or a roof. Good deal. And we'll come back to the floor. And right here, I'm going to make this rail style. I'm going to make panels, rail to post. 
And on this page, I'm going to go out to the library and pick some panels that look pretty. Um, decorator, I'll just pick this one. And Newell's, I will pick a cap Newell right out of the library. Uh, right here, capped. I don't know, let's just pick this one. Keep it simple. And make this about 44 maybe. Yeah, that's too high. Oh no, because I want the railing to be 42. And this to be maybe 46. There we go. And I am going to, on the style, raise the bottom four inches. I didn't do that on my example, but I think that will look better and work better. So we'll say OK. And now we have that, so let's just drag this back and drag this one back. Now, on the flooring for the balcony, so I'm going to go to the floor finish, which is right here. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to change this to a plank. And it's under decking, plank. Pick one. It doesn't matter what. I'll just pick this one. Or maybe this one looks like treated. And we'll say OK. okay. I'm actually going to make it a little thicker. Make it inch and an eighth like it's supposed to be. And then we'll click OK. Now you'll notice it's running the wrong direction. I'm just going to take my little rainbow tool here so I can edit this material. On the pattern tab, I will make it zero. And on the texture tab, I will make it 90. Click OK and then look at it in vector. So both look good. So the next thing I want to do is change this wall type. And I'm going to make it this wall type I'm using is a single layer wall type that I use for port railings. But the problem it, when you use it with a floor, it won't create a floor. So I mean, it creates the floor, but it doesn't have any finish on the outside. So I'm going to just change it to my siding for wall type if I can find it here. And click OK. And you'll see it fills in right there, which looks good. And then I will just take this back. I could have done all this at the same time, but I am just making an example here so you can see what happens when things change. So the next thing I'm going to do is, so I'm going to take my eyedropper, get this color, and I'm going to paint this. And I'll paint these and this. And so we got that coming together. Now, the plan here is to put a screen porch on the bottom. So people always wonder, well, how do I do that? It's pretty simple and cheap, really. Do, don't follow their directions and use Windows. I mean, it works, but it, it can be time consuming. I'm going to show you a quicker way. So let's go downstairs. Double click here. And let's go here to the Newell's Ballasters tab. And let's make this like 60 inches. And then we are going to go to the rail style and say we're going to use panels. And it defaults to solid. So if you go here, you'll see it says solid. I'm just going to make it an eighth, uh, 0.125, an eighth of an inch thick. And I am going to go 109 and an eighth, 125. And then minus the thickness of the beam, which is 12. And as you can see, that didn't work out. So I think plus four. There you go. Now, that's because we dropped the floor four inches. On the Rails tab, I'm going to say make, make it the, the width of the wall, but make the bottom one two. And the top rail, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to replace with, uh, I guess I have to just pick something here. So I'm going to type dash 001. Bunch of things will show up here. It doesn't matter what I pick. I'll make it that and make it two inches tall. And then on the style, I have to say use top rail and use bottom rail. But we're not going to raise.
that looks pretty good we'll check it and just hit OK and let's just take a look and so it's a solid panel and it looks like so to get this to work just do a back clip through here real quick and just take a look at this right here I'm going to just eyeball this but you can be specific if you want and I'm just going to it's a half inch which would have been two inches so I don't know what's going on so let's open this and add point plus point five okay and let's check our section I bet it's perfect yeah it is all right then go to your library right here browser and type screen and chief has a default material that you can pick right here and just paint that right there eh, control Z uh, because they're all painted the same you probably have to open this go to the materials tab go to the panel do this type in screen and it'll pop up and we can just select it right there click OK and there it is and now you got your screen porch now you can just drag these walls and now the other thing is the newels don't show up because of the way it's defined here uh, use defaults but I am going to say just draw the newels and I like to give them a solid and I usually I don't know pick this green here and give it 50% transparency and say OK and then the new will show up and then we can pull this back like this and pull this back like this and there you go you've got your balcony over a screened in room now if you had my screen porch library you could go out here and find a panel uh, well let's just start with a screen door so we could start with the screen door right here uh, let's just use a cross buck and get one with an arch and stick it in somewhere here and then let's go get a panel and let's get a mid rail panel here in arch a or let's try arch b let's just put arch b in here you can just click and replace from library and uh, now you can see the difference between chiefs and vector this is chief's screen material and this is mine this is just nothing miracle i learned this from somebody on chief it's glass block i've got the scale set to one by one and that's all you really need to do just find the glass block material in chief change the text change the size of it and then save that material into your library and you'll have a decent looking screen this looks a little too tall I, I don't know what's going on but it's okay oh i guess it was all right and uh, so that is that and then of course with my screen porch library you can just click and change things move your door wherever you want it um, make the door wider it becomes a double it doesn't look that good but it isn't really designed to do that <laughs> but um, anyway that is how you can put a screen porch under a balcony it's fairly simple one more thing a little tip here um, what you can do with this wall type right here is go here define copy and I'm just going to say at balcony and then this material right here let's go into the hardy uh, file here and we will find some soffit material non vented cedar mill okay let's just pick this arctic white and make this like an inch thick and just delete this osb and click ok and it'll put that trim on the surface because that'll be the wall if we just paint it here and then let us go back here to the plan view and pull this over and pull this over make sure they're lined up they're not see right here got to move them what about this one no it's good and then take a look and you got that it looks like you have a piece of trim there so that is a little tip on that 
and it makes it look really nice and it didn't take very long. So if you had my screen porch library, you could just change these all to an arch and just like that and you're done and call it a day and everything looks good. So I uh, hope this helped. Thanks for watching. See you next time.